Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. And if you have a suggestion of a plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below and or the comments for those new people. And I will give you a shout out when I get to it. Like this week is brought to you by JJ the Man 14. And this is Easy Ranks. Light. Now, Easy Ranks Light is made by Faxion Survival. And it's fantastic. It's actually a, a smaller plugin than his. Um, he has a bigger uh, rank up plugin, which allows for like a lot more rank up options, which is really cool. But this one, really quick and easy. It's super simple and easy to get up and going. It works with PEX and Group Manager, although it's configured to work with PEX out of the box. Just a heads up on that, you have to do some modifications, which I will show you how to do um, if you want to use it with Group Manager. It has a scoreboard on the right, which uh, let's, let's go ahead and show that to you. There you go. Bam. So I'm already uh, rank B from A, and the next one is C, and then uh, it shows the cost and my current balance, which obviously is not enough, so I'm going to show you guys that a little bit. So I will give this demonstration for download so you guys can download how this is all set up, and then I also will provide a group manager setup for this as well. couple notes on that. I learned a little bit about PEX. I uh, Previously, I had troubles with PEX and using a donor donator uh, like secondary group and taking precedence over the primary group, which messing up the rank up program. Now the author lays out on his website, and I can't remember exactly where it was, but he talks about the weight of a group. So the lower the weight, the higher the priority of that group. So if you put in the command pex space group space weight space the weight that you want. So uh, I think for this demonstration, uh, the rank up groups are 10 or 20, I'm not sure. And then the VIP is a 100 or something like that. So when you rank up, uh, the plugin looks for the primary group. And so the lower the weight, PEX presents that as the primary group always. So pro tip for you guys out there running PEX, I'm really liking PEX more than group manager now. One of the things is PEX out of the box, if you add a group, so this is the primary group, and then you can add a secondary group by using the add command rather than set, and then it will show the suffix where group manager will not do that. I'll tell you guys at the end how you can do that with group manager. But anyway, so that is enough of that conversation about how to get this set up with PEX. Like I said, you can download this. Let's show you guys how it works. So if we do rank up, looks like, oh, you need that much to rank up. So let's give us another 100 bucks. So you can see on the uh, side, it's not to refresh. You can do SB refresh. You can even do SB toggle to hide your scoreboard if you want. But we want that on. And then we do rank up. And then it's going to ask us, would you like to confirm? You can set that up in your config. You can have it not confirm, all that stuff. Bam, it shot a firework off. It teleported us to spawn. And now we are C. And you can see it still has the VIP there, which is really super cool. So let me off myself real quick. And we'll go over some of the commands. Like I said, you can do all of this in-game, which is really cool. So we're actually at the last rank. So we're going to make another rank. We're going to go easy admin, create rank up, C to D. And then we're going to make it $300. There we go. So we've made that rank. The next thing we need to do is actually we need to enable that rank. It's not enabled by default. You can see it shows up in the list, but it does not enabled. So we're going to go C to D. So now it is active. Now a couple things you can do. You can do easy admin delete rank up. And you can delete that C to D. Uh, you can do info so we can see all the information that we want about that one, which is fantastic. So you got all of these, um, you got your requirement messages. So if you don't have it, uh, if you're not, if you don't have enough cost or the, the money for it, it'll show you the current, your current rank is, and then this percentage rank from, that's going to show the current rank that you are. And then the cost is the cost of the the rank up and then your balance is the balance that you have you also have a rank from a rank to a world and then a player option so that'll pass those variables on to the plugin 
Um, those are just some of the other options you can put into there. Now, you can see that the rank up commands, when you do a rank up, it's going to run all of these commands. So you got easy broadcast, so that means it's going to broadcast to everybody else on the server. Easy message is going to go to just the player. And then easy effect is a, an effect that's going to be played on the player, which is which is that fireworks, and then it's going to warp them back to spawn. So if you want this to be a different location in your prison or something like that, you can do, you know, warp and then whatever the the warp name is that you want them to go to. Um, I think if you're using per per uh, warp permissions, you probably want to add that after it runs this this stuff of uh, adding and removing them from the uh, groups. So this is what I mean by, by default, this works with PEX. It's going to automatically fill this in. So if you're using Group Manager, you need to clear these two lines out by using the easy admin del command um, C to D and then say which command you want to remove. And then you need to add a command. So you do easy admin add command uh, C to D and then you want to do manu add and then your player, player, and then the group that you want them to add. Now that's the benefit of group manager. You don't really have to worry about that because the subgroups and groups are always separated. Um, with packs, you have to add and remove. You don't want to use set because it's going to clear out any secondary groups that they have and make that the only group they're a part of. That's why you do the add remove, but the author allows that for with using the rank to and rank from, which is fantastic. Now what you also can do there's a lot more effects that are available for you. You can do easy admin add command C to D and then we're going to do easy effect. And then you can do fireworks, you can do smoke, you can do flames, you can do explosion, you can do ender or potions and those are the effects that are going to show up on the player. Let's just do explosion because that sounds like fun. The next thing, let's go ahead and see how that works before we hop over to the configuration to just show you some more things. You might notice that the cost that I have is not 300. We can actually change it. Easy admin set cost C to D. Let's change it to 350, but you'll notice um, once that refreshes that it's still lower. Now you can, uh, you can add discounts um, and multipliers to your users. So if you want your donors or people who bought VIPs or whatever to have a slightly lower percentage cost for upgrading, you can put that in there and then the plugin will figure it all out for you, which is really cool. And let's go ahead, rank up, rank up again. Now you can actually turn that confirm off in the, the configuration file. And now you heard the explosion and you heard that you saw the firework and and all that stuff so let's go ahead hop over to the configuration file and take a look at it okay so here we are in the server like i said this will be available for download as well as a group manager version of it this is just pex um, if you hop in the pex you can see we have the weights set for all of them we have um yeah we have all that set so the VIP weight is higher than those, so it's all, these will always be the primary. So anyway, let's hop over to the actual plugin we're looking at. So this is the, the file that we've been editing, essentially, when we're in the game. Um, pretty much all of it you can modify in the game, except for the options area that I see here. You can set this to be the last rank if you want. This is the prefix that's going to show up in the displays and all that stuff. It's not going to be what showed up in chat. And then you can turn on resetting for each rank. So you can allow users to reset their rank either to their complete start over rank or whatever. As you can see that it's just going to clear everything out, clear their inventory, um, like all that stuff. It's going to say that they reset the rank. So you have to set that up for each rank, I believe. And um, yeah, so we don't really need to go over anything in here because you can modify it all in game. The one thing I did want to talk about is there's a, in the multiplayer section, this kind of lays it out. The author has a lot of good documentation in this, but um, here is the rank up cost discounts. So it is a priority system. So if I think the lower the number, the higher the priority it is. Let's see. Yes, the lower, the lowest priority will always be applied rather than the higher priority. So I'm not sure why you'd want them overlapping, but you know that's the thing so you can set up a custom permission node for them that you give to your 
donors and then they get 2.2 percent off so if you set that to 99 then it's and they rank up and it's 100 bucks it's only going to cost them a dollar so the opposite of that is a rank cost multiplier so it, it increases the cost so if you want like people who have been banned or people who have like done something wrong you can change their you know their rank up multiplier to be the whole time so it will times it by 1.5 so that's 50% more, I believe. So if you have a multiplier and a d discount on the same person, it will apply the multiplier first and then apply the discount. All right, so over into the config file, we're going to hop over here. This is where you can change the prefix of it from there. You can disable the ranks completely. You can turn on a rank cooldown so they can't rank up quicker than every five seconds. You can disable the scoreboard. You can change what the, score the scoreboard looks like. Um, using the same the same uh, options that we had in the config file so rank from rank to uh, blank you know that it's just a blank line the balance cost all that stuff and then what it shows if there's no rank ups after that or if you can rank up to it you got a progress bar you can disable it in certain worlds if you'd like now this is kind of cool it'll fix the thousands fix millions so if you're using essentials once it gets to be a certain so many zeros essentials will just do an e and then the number which means that there's that many zeros after the the period so what this plugin does is it takes that and then it modifies that to be you know put a k in there or an m in there um or a b in there or a t or a q for quadrillion that is crazy so that's all I got for that. Let's hop back into Minecraft here and wrap this video up. All right, so that's pretty sweet. It's a really simple rank up plugin. It can't break it, I don't think. I mean, it's just got everything you need. Works with PEX right out of the box, which I'm really liking PEX. Group manager, like I said, I would talk about it real quick. You can do subgroups in group manager. So if somebody buys a VIP, you use your donation plugin to rather than add it, you do add subgroup. I'll let you guys figure that out. But the problem is with the way group manager is set up, it won't display anything from a, su a subgroup rather other than the permissions. So at the same time, when you do a um, donation in the commands you have to set their suffix their player suffix to be whatever it is that will stay with them as they change groups so and then if you change that you know if they buy another vip kit it'll overwrite that when you do the same command which is really cool so that's the workaround with it with group manager i guess it's not too bad but i like how pex will just you just set the weights right and it'll always know which is the primary group so anyway hopefully you guys found that helpful feel free to hit a like and share this video out um and check it out it's a great rank up plugin it's super simple like i said and you can do everything you need to in game which i think is fantastic so this is cause from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless all right yes <laughs> what? The? Whoa! Oh my! Yeah, I want to make one. I gotta make one. No, 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 no. Here.